dehydrate them the way that I want them because I don't want them all the way hard. If you want, and as you can see, the nine trays they slide in all the way in and out. My dehydrator fan is actually on the back, and it's better to have your dehydrator fan on the back so everything can dry evenly. So, and my dehydrator came with a drip tray and also a, um, a screen to make other stuff with. So what I do is I put my my whatever I'm going to dehydrate in there and then however many trays I fill up, if let's say I fill up five trays, the sixth tray I will put the, the drip tray on the sixth tray. So everything, if it drips, it'll catch down here and it'll make for easy cleanup. After I have washed and picked my blueberries and dried them off thoroughly, what I do is I take them and I put them on a tray like this. I don't try to stuff a lot on one tray because you don't want to... Um, have them touching too much especially if you're going to dry them all the dehydrate them all the way to like to their like a little crispy where you have to rehydrate them because they'll get stuck together and when I'm while I'm washing them and, and stuff what I do is I take out the ones that might look like this or whatever you have to look at though because you don't want to eat that that's nasty and I have three or well, two and a half pints of blueberries and the, my oh, now I got two trays I got three trays actually out of this whole thing and push them back in and I'm going to switch my drip tray to my fourth tray that way it can catch any juice or anything that might fall out of yeah, gotta make sure I put everything up there right first huh? okay now I'm going to put the clear door on there it slides all the way down from the bottom and from the top to the bottom sometimes these trays can get stuck in the way because they don't push all the way back and it goes both ways okay turn it on I'm going to start dehydrating them at 113 and I'm going to leave them on for 12 hours and that's all you do and you just can check it if it's not where you want it to be when you <coughs> after the timer goes off excuse me I'm catching a cold after the timer goes off then you can just all you have to do is start it right back up and, and it is just you no know, start where the right back where it left off it okay well now my dehydrator actually beat at like 7 15 this morning and it is now 9 43 so i let the blueberries sit in here and kind of cool off and for a, a couple of hours and this is what we have i'm gonna open up the door and these are the blueberries after they have been dried to the way that I need them to be dried. You can see that it's not too dry, but it's still kind of dehydrated and it still has some of the, that burst when you bite it. Because I'm drying it because I'm going to be making something with these. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to remove the blueberries from the dehydrator trays and I'm going to put them in my 
my plastic container. Oh, this is my aloe vera juice that I'm drinking. This aloe vera and mango. It's mango flavor, and it has mango pulp in it. And it's really good. I drink these every time I start to catch a cold. So, yeah, I'm starting to catch a cold right now. So, you have to excuse my voice. I'll end. My voice is not all that great to begin with. I'm sorry I wasn't blessed with a a Cinderella Barbie doll voice, but I'm human. We ain't all perfect. So I'm gonna remove these blueberries from this and put them in my container and put them in the freezer until I get my other fruits dry that I need for my recipe. Be right back. Okay, this is something else that I wanted to show you guys that this is the reason why there is a drip tray because as you can see if the blueberries shrunk up some of the and the juices got dried down a little bit the drip tray caught them as they shrunk and my blueberries they're not all the way dried out they're just a little bit like I want to say a raisin texture and I wanted them like this for a purpose and the reason why I don't want them dried all the way out is because I'm I'm getting ready to dry out some more fruit. And you know, dehydrators are used to save food. So if you get some food and you dry it out in here, you can turn I mean you can do so much different stuff with a dehydrator and make different recipes and you know exact healthy recipes and you know exactly what's going in those natural delicious recipes and they are awesome but i'm going to freeze them because as i'm drying out my other fruit that's going in my recipe they still have the ability to let's say um to rot a little bit mold because they still have juices in them so that's why i'm going to freeze them to prevent them from from um, possibly molding or and you know or becoming bad and you don't want that there to be a waste of food and we're trying to save food here okay so let me finish just how much I got in my container so far and remember these were two this was a two and a half pints of blueberries Okay, and here's the, the last, this is the last tray, this is the, the drip tray, that's the blueberries that, all, that fell on the drip tray from the regular trays, because the regular trays have holes in them. Okay. Okay, and the reason why I didn't dry all my other fruits that I'm going to be making with the blueberries because remember I told you that blueberries will dry them out to a crunchy texture to the point where they can last for years and years at a time and you can grind them up and make powders and stuff with them to put in, put in dishes it usually takes between 24 to, to maybe 48 hours two days and a couple hours to 48 hours um but the one the texture that i wanted it only took 12 hours to do this and that's because where i stay at remember the moisture it depends on how much moisture your area has in the air because that is what gives you and and the fruit their moisture because you know moisture in the air is like rainy and you know you you can't see it but it's there okay in here it's all of them see look like little right little blueberry raisins shrunk up so i'm going to cover these up and that tastes tastes great that help the snack Okay, they're going to go from this into a, a crispy, nice, healthy banana chip. Stay tuned. 
Okay, now I'm just going to pick them up. Half a tablespoon of lemon juice, concentrated lemon juice. I want to see what we come up with here, okay? I'm going to be back when they're done in seven hours. And unless I come out here and look at them and they are the consistency that I want them. But I know they're going to take at least five hours. I just added another two hours, you know, just to, just to, you know, give it a run. Okay. Be right back when they're done.